What if I told you that one simple oil choice could decide whether your engine lasts 120,000 miles? Or 400,000 miles? Same car, same engine, same driver, but three different oils, 0W20, 5W30, and 5W40 produce dramatically different results. And here's the shocking part. The oil most manufacturers recommend did not win. In fact, in our real-world engine test, one oil caused higher wear, higher temperatures, and faster degradation, even though it's approved in most owner's manuals. Today, we're breaking down actual engine data, not opinions, oil analysis, temperature behavior, wear metals, long-term protection. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which oil protects best and which one quietly sacrifices your engine for fuel economy. Stay to the end, because the winner surprised even experienced mechanics. Section 1. Why this test matters more than you think. Every modern oil debate eventually turns into noise. Thinner oil is better. No, thicker oil protects more. Just follow the manual. But here's what most drivers don't realize. The owner's manual is written for compliance, not longevity. It's optimized for fuel economy tests, emissions, certification, warranty averages, not for extreme heat, high mileage, real world wear. So instead of arguing online, we tested it. Section two, the engine we used, no tricks, no bias. To keep this fair, we used a modern four cylinder, naturally aspirated engine, tight factory tolerances, direct injection, driven under identical conditions, same driving cycle, oil change intervals, filters, fuel. Only one thing changed, the oil viscosity. Phase one, zero W to 20 full synthetic. Phase two, five W 30 full synthetic. Phase three, five W 40 full synthetic. Each oil ran for 7,500 miles with used oil analysis, UOA, temperature logging and wear inspection. No marketing, just data. Section three why these three oils are so different. Before we reveal results, you need to understand what actually changes when viscosity changes. 0W20, ultra thin at operating temperature, designed to reduce friction, improves fuel economy by approximately 0.5 to one miles per gallon, but means thinner oil film, less margin under heat and load. 5W30, balanced viscosity, stronger film strength at high temperature, Historically, the sweet spot for durability, 5W40, thickest at operating temperature, highest shear stability, designed for heat, stress, and long service. Each oil makes a trade-off. The question is, which trade-off actually protects the engine best? Section 4, Phase 1, Results, 0W20, the manufacturer favorite. Let's start with the oil most people use, 0W20, what it did well. Fast cold start lubrication, lowest internal friction, best fuel economy, about plus 0.7 miles per gallon. On paper, it looks great. But inside the engine, the story changed. What we saw, oil temperature ran 8 to 12 degrees Fahrenheit hotter on average. Viscosity loss of 13% by 7,500 miles. Increased iron and aluminum wear metals. Not catastrophic, must but clearly higher wear. Valve train inspection showed. Light varnish, early oil darkening, thinner residual oil film after shutdown. Mechanic note, this oil works, but it works harder. It has less room for error. Section five, the hidden problem with 0W20. Here's the issue nobody talks about. 0W20 has the smallest safety margin. That means higher sensitivity to heat, more shear, under load, faster degradation in real traffic. In stop and go driving, long highway runs, or hot climates. Oil thins faster, film strength drops sooner. This doesn't kill engines quickly, it kills them slowly. Section six, phase two, results. 5W30, the middle ground. Next, we switch to 5W30. Same engine, same driving, same interval. The difference was immediate. What changed? Oil temperature dropped six to nine degrees Fahrenheit. Viscosity loss was under 5%. Where metals dropped by 35 to 40%. That's not opinion, that's lab data. Internally, bearings looked cleaner. Cam lobes showed stronger oil film, less varnish overall. Fuel economy, down only 0.3 miles per gallon compared to 0W20. That's pennies. 
Section 7. Why Mechanics Quietly Prefer 5W30 When we spoke to longtime technicians, the response was consistent. One master mechanic said, If I want an engine to last, I don't chase thin oil. I chase stability. 5W30 gave better thermal control, better shear resistance, better long-term wear balance. It didn't try to win fuel economy tests. It tried to protect metal. Section 9, Phase 3, Results, 5W40, The Heavyweight Contender. Now we move to the oil many drivers assume is the ultimate protection, 5W40. On paper, it looks unbeatable, thicker oil film, higher high temperature viscosity, excellent resistance to shear. And in certain situations, it absolutely shines. What impressed us? Oil temperatures dropped another 3 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit compared to 5W30. Viscosity loss was almost non-existent, under 2% after 7,500 miles, where metals were extremely low, especially iron and copper. Under sustained load, long highway pulls, high RPM operation, steep grades, 5W40 was rock solid. But then we noticed something important. Section 10, where 5W40 starts to work against you. Protection isn't just about thickness, it's about flow. Here's what showed up in the data. Slightly slower oil circulation at cold start. Marginally higher fuel dilution retention. Increased pumping resistance during short trips. In engines driven mostly at short distances, cold starts light throttle. The extra viscosity didn't provide extra benefit, it just added drag. Mechanic Insight 5W40 is amazing when the engine is working hard, but if your commute is 10 minutes, you're not using its strength. In other words, 5W40 is a specialist, not an all-rounder. Section 11, Side-by-Side -side Comparison, Real Results. Here's how all three oils stacked up after identical use. 0W20, Best Fuel Economy, Highest Wear Metals, Fastest Viscosity Breakdown, 5W30, Near Optimal Oil Temperature, Lowest Overall Wear Balance, Best Everyday Protection, 5W40, Best Extreme Heat Stability, Excellent Wear Control Under Load, Overkill for Light Duty Driving, and this is where the conclusion became impossible to ignore. Section 12, the clear winner, and why it was unexpected. If this were a track car test, 5W40 might have taken the crown. If this were an emissions test, 0W20 would win. But for real drivers, real traffic, real heat, real mileage, 5W30 delivered the best overall engine protection. Not the thinnest, not the thickest, the most balanced. That's why it shocked people. Section 13, why 5W30 won in the real world. Here's why 5W30 came out on top. Strong oil film without excessive drag. Stable viscosity across wide temperature ranges. Excellent wear control without cold start penalties. Minimal fuel economy loss. Cleaner internals over time. It protected better than 0W20. It flowed better than 5W40. It didn't try to game regulations. It tried to protect metal. Section 14, what manufacturers don't advertise. Here's a quiet truth. Many engines designed for 0W20 were originally validated with 5W30. The switch to thinner oil happened because of fuel economy mandates of emissions targets, regulatory pressure. Not because engines suddenly stopped needing protection. That's why the same engines use 0W20 in the US, but 5W30 or 5W40 abroad. Different priorities, same metal. Section 15, so what oil should you use? Here's the practical breakdown, no hype. Use 0W20 if you live in cold climates, drive short trips, prioritize fuel economy, change oil frequently. Use 5W30 if you want maximum engine life to drive mixed city slash highway. Live in moderate to hot climates, plan to keep the car long term. Use 5W40 if you tow, track, or drive aggressively. Live in extreme heat, have a turbocharged or high load engine. This isn't about right or wrong oil. It's about matching oil to reality. Section 16, the mechanic truth, off the record. When we asked experienced mechanics what they run in their own cars, the answer was telling. Not one said, whatever the manual says. Most admitted, 5W30 for daily drivers. 5W40 for performance or heat. Almost never 0W20 unless required. One tech summed it up perfectly. 
Fuel economy numbers sell cars. Engine longevity sells repairs. I know which one I want. The final takeaway. Your engine doesn't care about regulations. It cares about oil film strength, heat control, and stability over time. In our test, 0W20 worked, but wore faster. 5W40 protected, but wasn't always necessary. 5W30 quietly did everything right. That's why it won. What oil are you running right now? And why did you choose it? Drop it in the comments. Because the biggest engine mistake isn't using the wrong oil. It's never questioning whether the recommended one is truly the best for your car.